Good afternoon, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts and we are here to do Rachel at Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge. So it's hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And this is week five. In week five she did some envelopes. And um, last, a few days ago in um, on our uh, favorite journals, favorite recipes journal, we made some envelopes, but we made them different this way and had a, a tuck spot here. In Rachel's challenge, it is um, making a flip and it will have a pocket on the back here. So what she did was, She had a pair of scissors, and now I do too. So this is Angela, by the way, with Dogwood Paper Arts. And I don't know if I said that already, but that's, that's who we are. <laughs> we. <laughs> Who's the we, Ang? Oh, you know, me, myself, and I. So what she did was cut the back off of the envelope. I think the next one I'll just use a slicing machine to clean it up because that's not very, very clean. I gotta cut the little edges off of it. There we go, that'll be a little bit better. And I have a little edge on that side, so I'm going to cut that off as well. And that will more or less straighten out the envelope a little bit. And then up here I left a little rib of, a little rib. Are you ribbing me? <laughs> so she cut this off as well, but we're putting um, my 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 idea here is is that we are um, in in the journal making tutorial that I'm doing right now. We are making uh, my favorite recipes journal, and so my thought here is that we need to, I need to make this big enough so I can use it in that journal. So I am going to leave this piece on the envelope and fold it in, but I am going to cut some of it off because obviously for a flip we don't need that much extra. Maybe what a half an inch? half an inch, I think. There we go. And then what Rachel did was she took this part down here and folded it up to meet some of this window. About like this. And then she removed this piece and then cut this one at a little bit of an angle there and come up here and cut this one at an angle. And now we have this. So this will be the flip part. And this one here has to be cut slightly at an angle. just so that it will fit neater by the, so that this will fold over good on the flip. Still not quite there. Okay, 
So there's one. And because I have three signatures in my journal, I need to try and make three of these in 45 minutes. Ha! Ha! Ha, we say. This is Angela. She does nothing in 45 minutes. I know, I know, I'm a little bit slow on some of this stuff. I'm going to just cut that off there. So that I can just cut the back off. Make it a little bit quicker. See? Yay! We'll save these for something else. I think I have a Marguerite Miller challenge coming up. Well, actually, it's due this week. Oh my. I have so many challenges this year. And um, it calls for the backing of a, a bill. So... What do I have a pair of scissors? Let's get rid of that. And then this comes up here. Right about there, I suppose. That'd be okay. Yeah. And then cut this at a slight angle. Make sure it fold up there, and it does. And we have one more. And this one, let's see. Go ahead and cut this envelope open. this off, leave a half of an inch, at least a half of an inch. Okay. And then fold this one up a ways. Obviously, this one is going to go the opposite direction of one of the others. Okay. So now we've got that part. We've got... We have... Now we have that part. Okay, the next thing that she did was she folded this part down a little ways. And it doesn't really matter if it's in the way of the envelope there or not. I'm just folding it outward and then I'm going to fold it inward here. And she glued this part down just to strengthen this up. Yeah, that'll work. Just to make the envelope stronger so when it holds, whatever it holds, for us it should be a 3x5 card. Yep. So... Let's do all of those. Now, it doesn't matter if it's in way of the window, but if you don't want it in the way of the window, then you'll just fold it um, down a little further. 
and make it a shorter pocket. I may take up some of my window because I want my pocket to be tall enough to securely hold my uh, recipe card. So I may cover part of the window to take care of that. There's two. We need one more. Oops. We probably want to not fold it so crooked that it looks crooked. Who knew that you could do a bazillion things with junk mail? I mean, I always knew when we were doing um, things like uh, artist trading cards many, many moons ago. Um, we would use junk mail to make things. But I never thought about using it to make pages in a journal. I need to get this out of the way. So I'm just using junk mail envelopes, by the way. Um, business envelopes that come in my bills. I pay most of my bills automatically. So I have all these leftover envelopes. Might as well use them. Okay. Before we do this part, let's do this part. So I have brought along with me um, this as a scrap paper. And I want to use it like around these windows. I think, first of all, I will tear it here. Boy, that's a jaggedy edge, isn't it? Talk about a jaggedy edge, Ange. So I'm going to need that one right there. Let's just start right there. Oh, I didn't darken it up at all. And we are still in the mood for making our um, a lot of our journal, our recipe journal, into kind of a, um, sorry, I'm thinking. She's thinking. Uh, in vintage, keeping it in the vintage style. Sorry about that. Whew, took me a while to figure that one out. So let's go ahead and put one over here too. I'm not going to make them all exactly the same, but they may be very similar. Well, I could have made that a little bit fatter, but let's, um, let's find some ink. And we will just go along here and ink up by that window. Um, 
one. And then we have this one. And let's see. Let's do this one the long way. Might be the fatter hand. Let's find out. No. No, let's go up a little higher. Okay. Oops, hope I'm so Have I been out of camera this whole time? Oh, you guys have to really keep track of me, don't you? So I'm just really working hard to catch up on all of my <laughs> my challenges. And uh, boy, it's been been something. I think I'm getting there too. What I need to do is figure out myself a plan on how I'm going to do this and then, you know, schedule it how I need to do it because, you know, I've never done challenges except for many years ago with, like I said, the artist trading cards and, um, I'm just going to fold that over. So, this is kind of a new thing for me. Okay, now, I have this paper by Our House. It's a Cartabella. And I'm going to put this on this side of the envelope. And I need to make it go from there to somewhere. Oh. Helps if you pick up the pencil that you just grabbed. So I'm going to cut that off there. And then I want to cut it off right about here. I'm not going to fold it over because it'll get too thick and we're trying to keep our recipe journals down to a minimum. Okay. What does an Angela do with her mark? It's right there. That's going to go there. I only need to go right about there. Going to put this in here. There we go. And I'm just going to leave it with a nice edge. We'll have some rusty bits with it or raggedy bits. But we're also going to have some not raggedy bits. So this is going to go like this. Now to help with this white piece that will probably show, <coughs> excuse me, my, the horse is back in my throat, you guys. I wonder what that means. Is it a frog in my throat or have I just gone horse? <laughs> I never could figure it out. Same way here, you want to um, do that up a little bit. It looks kind of ugly right now because I'm, I'll be overdoing it, but 
I would rather overdo it and then if some of the edges show that's fine. <laughs> An envelope's quite hard to do when it doesn't have all of its uh, protection around it. Now if you really wanted to get inside of here you could carefully remove this part and then glue it back down. You know if you wanted to get in here and darken up these edges. But you just have to be very careful when you peel that off. Okay, I'm going to put this piece down. This is like the new dining set in the kitchen. So it's still nice and neat. It's not all raggedy around the edges yet. Okay, now we need a piece down here and I think this would look really neat. Now this is the back of a book from Hallmark that I used earlier on something. So we're going to put that in here, but I'm going to leave a little space because I want to bring this piece down here. Just a little bit. So I'm going to mark that there. I'm going to mark it there. Going to ink it up. And we're going to glue it on right here towards the bottom. And then we're going to fill in here with some of this raggedy, the raggedy stuff. Glue, please. Finally made it to town and bought a new timer. I just cannot remember to set the timer on my phone or the stopwatch, either one. I just had to bring, I had to pick up a kitchen timer. I had my husband take the magnet off of the back because it's here next to where my cameras and stuff are. And I just, didn't want to take the chance of it, you know, infecting something. I think we'll bring that up to right there, but I want it raggedy, so let's go here like this. Doesn't need to be very much, just a bit. It's just covering that envelope in the back where it comes up there. It feels crooked to me because it is. up. Oops, sorry. I gotta move stuff so that I get my arms up here where they belong. And then I'm going to cut it off right about there. And then 
we're going to glue it. Right about there. So it kind of looks almost like a wall and a window. And then, you know, the cabinets are painted green down there, right? There. Oh, I like it. So now on the back, we need to add a bit of a pocket back here. And I think maybe we'll go with this one. We can exchange it on the other one. Let's see. Let's make some room here. Let's put those up there. Okay, so we have our envelope right here. Let's flip this around so that I'm on the right side of the envelope so I can see it better. Hard to see it when it's down on the other end. Okay, so that's going to go right about there. I need to bring it to this side. We don't want it to fold over. And then we'll cut it right here. So we don't have too much to cut off again. Put it right there. Bring it to right about there. And we'll go here. And this is going to come in down here. And if it's too long, well, even if it goes above, it'll be all right. So I chose these colors because they kind of remind me of a, maybe a 50s style kitchen. And I thought that would look good. Okay. I'll, I'll make it so that it's even at the top. And I'm going to bring it over here to this side more to cover that black. Or am I going to go that way? I guess it really doesn't matter either way. Well, that would be pretty too. Everyone gather round. Anyway, I figured um, might as well make ephemera for our um, our favorite recipes journal so that we keep working on that plus I can do the challenge cool huh that works works out pretty fun okay now this does stick over a little bit so I am going to gently trim it I really don't want to trim off the bottom of my envelope but I may have. No, nope, I'm good. I'm good. I did it. Then we will quickly get this inside done. Now, I really liked it when we made the other one like into a journaling card. Um, Where's that 
piece of paper we had. Um, 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 um. Let me look over here. This, we use this paper. I just thought that looked really neat, having our journaling area over here with this old school paper. Isn't that nice? Now we could just go ahead and cover this piece. I don't think that would be a problem. I think I will use the glue stick here. Be careful around your window. We don't want to break it. I'm going to put a little glue under it. Okay. And then I'm going to carefully glue it down. And if there's anything remaining that is sticking up or anything, then I will come back and put a little bit of this glue under it. And we want it to go right to about there. So cut it off straight first. The lines will cover up our um, the lines will cover up something. <laughs> oh, oh boy! The lines will cover up. I don't know. I have no idea what I was going to tell you. I guess it was not important. I've gone nuts. Okay, so this piece needs to go right about... Well, no, it needs to come in because we have... I remember when I was a kid, this paper never erased very well. Oh, the lines, these lines, are going to cover up this flip. So that if it's on the top of your page, it's covered up. So let's move. Oh gosh, I'm tearing this one apart. Look at that. It's pretty soft paper. So I'm going to take it down to right about there and tear it off. This time I'm just going to use this. Hopefully it won't just you know, glue right through it and leave a bunch of funky marks. I guess if it does, we just cover it up with another piece of paper. Now, I'm not worrying about the coffee dye in here. Um, I'm more concerned about it having a journaling spot and that it is a usable pocket. And I'm not too concerned about how much shows here because, well, you know, we don't have to worry about that. So I am going to tear that off right about there. And then right about there. It's okay if it's raggedy because we'll have our pocket. This is just going to cover up some of it that might be showing. OK. 
Okay, let's go ahead while we're right here. Let's put our pocket in place. So, almost done. We have just this top part to cover. So I think we probably should cover it with some paper that is a little different. And so we'll use these words. And Order by number, it says back here. So I left it kind of raggedy so it would match the other raggedy from the other side. And there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out of camera again. <laughs> oh, okay, Ange, you are to stay in camera. Or you're going to have to go to bed early without TV. What? Without TV? Kind of like having my TV on at bedtime. I like to watch my mystery shows. So there we go. Now we have a wonderful little recipe pocket. And of course, my paper down in there. It must be a little bit damp, but it gives us another recipe pocket. Now you don't have to use it for a recipe pocket, but this would be a great place to put the name of the recipe. Um, or we can put something else there if you like. Let's see, I have these little stickers. Um, we could put this little rosemary jar on there. Nothing says everything has to be super uh, embellished. But then, why not? We've been using bits and pieces. We better use bits and pieces here too. Um, 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 um. Here we go. I used a lot of this glue this morning, so this is not going to want to come out very well. So these are just some stickers that are on um, a sheet of Our House Elements. Like I said, the Our House is by uh, Cardabella. So there we go. We have that on there. And um, perhaps we would have a bit of dill over here. Maybe right about here and we can always cut part of that off. Maybe our dill will be next to our rosemary. If I put it over that then I have to have something to cover that in the back and I don't want to do that. It'll go on another one. Um, oh! You know do you guys collect rolling pins? 
I have a few. I'd love to have more. But I have a great big old big thick wooden one and I absolutely love it. I use it for everything. Well, not everything. I use it for everything that needs to be rolled out with a rolling pin. And I just, I adore it. It is so cool. I bought it at an antique shop. Well, it wasn't even an antique shop. It was just a little junk shop. In an icky old building. And, uh... <laughs> Oh, I used to be so brave. There we go. Look at that. That is so cool. I love it. Nice. We could have home sweet home up there. Be nice. She's going crazy. See, this is where it slows me down on the challenges. Is I start decorating and I my mind just takes off on a rant. I'm off and down the rabbit hole. I'm cruising to losing. And uh <laughs> then I don't make the time on the challenge. So see, that's what happens. There. So we have that. I'm trying to show it to you this way like you're a class sitting out there. So I need to cut that little piece off right there. There. Okay. That one is done and it will have a recipe card in the back so there's no sense in putting something in there right now but the way this will work on your page is um, say we flip open our page this one is going to go on this side and we'll just flip open and then you'll have your recipe and then you can have notes about your recipe here if you'd like. So that is very cool, I think. And then um, if you don't want to put a recipe right there, if you don't want to see the recipe, then um, cover your window with something that is um, like a bunch of pies stacked up in the window or something. Okay, so there's one and one more piece of ephemera for our journal. Okay, next one. <sighs> Gotta hurry. Um, 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 where did I put them? Okay, so I know on the back I'm going to put this because we want a place to journal. So that's going to come from there to there. I'm going to cut it off right there. Now this one, I only made it so wide. I didn't make it wide enough. What was I thinking? Was it this piece? Okay, it was this piece. I still didn't do it right. That's okay. Don't worry. Be happy. Had that song in my head all day. Okay. 
And you're lucky I don't know all the words that he's saying in between don't worry, be happy. <laughs> I know it's mostly don't worry, be happy. But I know he's saying something important in there. Stuck to me. Okay. Let's cut that off right there. Right down that line. And right there. Yeah, that's going to actually cover nicely. Okay, now. This piece. Right there. Do you guys remember your dreams? I dream all the time. I'm talking about when I'm sleeping. <laughs> when I'm asleep. Um, who knows? Maybe I do just dream all the time. But my dreams are so strange, you guys. I'm always very busy. But I don't know. Lately, I, normally in my dreams, I am visiting somewhere, going on vacation, taking my kids on a trip, you know, different things like that. <laughs> but lately they've been strange, very, very strange. So I don't know. I don't know what it's about. It must be the weirdness of what happened in 2020 with the COVID and, you know, worrying about the grandkids not being in school. And, I mean, they're in classes. They're, they're doing computer and all that, but oh, I don't know. It's just so... So weird. Everything's so weird. Okay, I need to cut that piece off because it needs to be flat going across the top. Right there. And then I can tear it. To look like a raggedy curtain. Me and my raggedies. I once made a raggedy Ann and Andy. I don't know if I ever finished their hair. I think I finished raggedy Ann's hair. But I don't know if I ever finished Andy's hair. It was kind of a hassle sewing all that yarn on his head. I think he was like, I had his cap on and he was kind of bald around parts of his head. Uh, I should have hung on to him. I used to make dolls. Loved making dolls. Absolutely. Okay, let me cut this little piece off. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it, guys. I think 
then I'll bring this up to cover that pocket right there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this pocket up. Like that. Now on this one, I think we'll use a little bit of red dots. Cut it straight across there. Bring it up to there. We'll cut it off down there. See, if I get stuff in my way up here, that's when I start working in another space. And I'll keep going. I'll even move to another area with stuff. <laughs> if it gets too bad. But I try not to let it get that way. I try to keep just this area. But, you know, dreams are weird because, I don't know about you, but I'll be um, watching TV or doing something else and all of a sudden pieces of it will kind of drift back into my head. And I'll be like, that is so weird. But then when I try to think about what was in the dream and what was happening, I can't remember a thing. Not a thing. Oh, that is going to be so cute, you guys. Okay. So we need maybe some dishes on this wall. Or spoons. Let's go with dishes. We'll bring it down to about the same place. And then we'll put a piece across. And I'll have to bring that over the window just a little bit because Got paper sticking out there. We don't like our paint showing through the window. <laughs> oh. Nothing worse than having your house painted and ending up with a bunch of paint all over the place, all over the windows. But last time we got our house painted, it went well. We had it painted. Oh, they did a beautiful job. Of course, I'm kind of getting to where I want to paint it again, but maybe this summer we'll hire somebody to paint again. I don't want to do it. I have to paint the inside of the house. That's enough for me. time do we have? 55 minutes, you guys. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Darn it. 
That would be upside down. I don't want an upside down word. No. No upside down words. Okay, I'm going to bring this one across just like I did before. And we're going to put something under it. Let's see. What should go under it? We do have that. That would look kind of nice. Okay, she says, go for it. That would be nice. So we're going to cut it across here. And down right here. Oops, still need to go this way. I forgot. Okay, so this one's going to come down here. And it is so dark, but it has this white core in it. So I'm going to cover that white core up. Because that's what bothers me. In the vintage era, there's no white core in there. That has a pin. Put it back in there. There it is. Oh, Luigi yowing. He always yows after he eats. Because then he wants to go in and eat Kipper's food. Silly guy. He can't eat Kipper's food. this off. Yep, I do. Um, hope it's straight. It's not. We'll just throw some ink on it. Ink it up. It's down. I'm I'm not budging that. Okay. So let's just let's just let's just put this across here, I guess. And then I'll cut it off when we um it's glued down. So basically I made mine like a kitchen window with a little curtain, cafe curtain up here. And let's cut that off. And then we tuck our recipe in back here, of course. And we are at 60 minutes. Oh my gosh. We are. Where's that dill? I need that dill. Right here. Um, 
I'm going to just put that on there real quick. the deal down. Oh. Better grunge it up a little bit. That deal is just too clean. There we go. We've got some deal on the counter. And what else do we have? We did a rolling pin. Um, how about some sugar? No? Well, we could. We could put our sugar right here as long as we stay within the window. Out, you know, as long as we're not covering up our window. some dill and some sugar. Cool. And on this wall we have the words that say give thanks. We have a plaque up there in our kitchen. glue is driving me crazy. It just is so gluey. There. Right up by our window we have a little plaque that says give thanks. heaven's sakes. These things are slippery stickers is what they are. So all they want to do is slide around until that glue dries. And What are we going to have down here in our window on the counter? A spoon? Like this? Nope. Not going to. I think we have enough. Okay, so there is our second one. So, where's our first one? I've lost it now, everybody. Pull out all the stops. Here it is. Okay, so Rachel, I did not meet the challenge once again. In one hour, I got two done. And the reason there's nothing in the back is because in out in my cards, I need to put recipe cards because I'm making a favorite recipes journal. And so if anybody wants to make the favorite recipes journal, it is a full tutorial um, where I, 
I will make in the video um, the pocket that you need to make and then off camera I will make the other two. I make three total like I need three of these so off camera I will make this one. So um, it's I'm doing my tutorial that way this time instead of absolutely full everything. But this was Roxy's challenge or Rachel's challenge at Roxy Creations and I had fun. This is a really cool, a very cool um, flip. And this will be really nice to have our card in here, have some writing about the recipe if we want. Um, both of these flip the same direction. I believe the other one I have will, will actually flip the other direction. So there we go. That's what I got done. Let me bring you up closer so you can see it. And I'll bring it down here a little bit. Sorry about my table. Isn't it a lovely table? It's a lovely working table. So there we go. Let me find my recipe cards. Here's one with the recipe. This was my grandma's green salad recipe and I think this pocket I shouldn't have put the extra paper inside so we have a card in there and then we have a card in here and these will be recipes now right like I said right down here you can write the name of that recipe that belongs in there Okay. Alrighty. Thanks for the challenge, Rachel. I, I really appreciate it. And I got caught up today. So I'm ready for next week now. I am caught up with your challenges. Um, I still got a lot to catch up on, but I'm getting there on the rest of it. But I'm caught up on Rachel's challenges. Okay. I will talk to you all later, and I hope you have a great evening. I am going to head off to dinner with my hubby. He's actually making it in the kitchen. He's the chef tonight. Um, like most nights, he's my chef. <laughs> so, it's kind of spoiled, huh? Oh, goodness. I love him so. He treats me so well. All right. See you all later. Bye. Love you guys.